And I'll get these Castlewood people. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Castlewood High School, White Stadium. Merle Allen and Jamie Farley with you uh, on ARC TV and uh, Ernie Benko uh, operating the, the equipment. And it looks like uh, Castlewood will kick off. And uh, they've won the toss, deferred to the second half, and they'll be kicking to Homemaker. It's like... Evan Justice, one of the deep men for a Honecker. Uh, kicking for Castle will be Adam Gibson. He's having a little trouble getting the ball set up, as you can see. Looks like it might. Well, I guess he's going to do a straight on kickoff. Or, well, he'll do a sidewinder kickoff, soccer style. And it's like he's going to try to kick it deep. <laughs> the sophomore Gibson kicks it, and it's a fairly short kick. Picked up at about the 31 or 2 yard line and run back to the. Looks like he got it to the 40. So it'll be first and 10, Honeaker from there. Isaac Perkins with the. Uh, was Isaac Perkins with the run back. Hunter comes out there to be led by the quarterback, Sean, uh, Sean Gill. <coughs> and they'll run out of a eye formation. Look like it's a little bit of an offset eye there, bro. Yeah, no, it wasn't either. Tailback. Skyler Miller with the carry for Honecker. He just gets a couple of yards. Looks like it'll be second and eight. Running off a left tackle. Player comes into the huddle with a call from the sideline for Honecker. Looks like he picked up about two, Merle. It'll be second down and eight. Right. Quarterback under center. Unbalanced line to the right. Hand off again to uh, Miller, Skyler Miller, he didn't get a lot there. He ain't Looks like he's lost, couple there. lost a yard or so. Looks like it'll be third and nine. So let's see if Honecker wants to throw it here. Ball is at the uh, 41, 41 yard line, maybe 42, about the 42 yard line, I guess. Third down and a long eight. And the pitch to the wide side, and Castle was ready for that. Nice storming for a loss over there. Miller again on the carry. Hunter will have to punt. I can't see who's back deep for Castle. Will. I kind of think tell either. If you get a number, we can pick him up there. So far, he hasn't turned this way. Nick Goodman, the punter for Honecker. Layden Taylor, I believe, is back deep. Goodman gets a pretty good kickoff. It's going to come down and hit about the 35-yard line, and Honecker's going to down it there to 36, so there'll be no run back. This will be Castlewood's first possession. Early here, no score. We're glad you joined us here tonight on ARC TV. First football game of the season. But uh, football will probably be back in the fall, Merle, so it won't be much of a break for us. Uh, it surely, surely won't. Uh, Castlewood's first possession. They hustle up to the line. Uh, they look like they're running out of sort of almost a single wing set, Jamie. Uh, that's number 21. That's right, Taylor. Taylor with the carry. Off the right side, he got about eight. Yeah, look like they're going to be running out of a shotgun there, Merle. Or we'll give whatever. it seven. It'll be third or second and, and three. Clock running and down inside of 10 minutes now in the quarter, early here in the first quarter. 
21 Taylor is the uh, tailback in this setup for uh, Castlewood. They don't run with the quarterback under center, obviously. And they're set up a little heavy to the right, and Taylor takes the ball and goes off right tackle and gets pretty good blocking, squirts through there, has got a first down and more. Looks like that's single wing, Mo. Yeah, it is. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's maybe modified a little bit, but they get it down to the uh, Honecker 46-yard line where it'll be first and 10, Castlewood. Castlewood beat Honecker last year, Jamie. I don't yeah, know. they beat Lebanon also. They played up at Honecker. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. they had a good football team last year. I yeah. saw them two or three times. Chris, what is Chris Kirk? Chris... The football coach. So first down for Castlewood out of that single win. Chris Lark. Chris Lark, right. A little uh, reverse there. A little misdirection play. Chris Taylor, or Carter, off, I mean, M.J. Carter. Handed off to M.J. Carter. He, a little misdirection uh, out of the backfield. And he doesn't get much at all, maybe a half yard. So we'll say it's second and ten still. Hunter Hicks we saw playing the basketball right. coming in with that play, Jamie. He's going to set up at left end, I believe. Uh, out of that single wing set again. Straight ahead goes the halfback. That's Jeremiah Allen. Jeremiah Allen, he gets good, good yardage. He's out to about the... Uh, 34-yard line, 39-yard line, rather. And it'll be uh, third and about three from the Honecker 39. Need to get it to the 36 for a first down. Castlewood running effectively that single wing, just power football. This is tailback again, good, good yardage again, and he's breaking free. He's going to go all the way. 39 yards, Merle. They're real effective out of that single wing, Jamie. They're clearing the path through there. Yeah, it's uh, just straight power football. Honecker usually pretty stout up front on defense, but they have no answer for Castlewood in that drive. Castlewood will try to Get the extra point here. Is this Adam Gibson kicking? Yeah, Gibson's going to try the extra point. It's Gibson number three. So yeah, here you go. All right. That'll help you out. Yeah, Adam Gibson kicking. Can't tell who the holder is. And it hits him right in the head. <laughs> Bad. Bad snap, and the point's going to be no good. Well, the holder wasn't looking for the ball there, uh, Merle. Like he snapped he, it. He had his ready. head turned. Snapped it before they were ready, I think. Anyway, Castlewood goes up 6 nothing with 7.13 to go here in the first quarter. They'll kick off again in a moment. We'll be right back with the uh, Castlewood kickoff. You're listening to high school football here in the winter on ARC TV. All right, Castlewood uh, set to kick it off again here. Uh, Gibson will kick off again for the Blue Devils. They're having trouble getting the ball out there. I don't know, they may be trying to keep those balls sanitized, I guess, Jamie, like you're doing basketball. Castlewood's got new helmets, haven't they, Jamie? They're yeah, I believe so. what they've had in the past. Do what? Oh, okay. Well, that was that's interesting. Who's that? Alan, Adam Gibson, our won the state championship in wrestling. He's uh, going to kick. He's having trouble getting that ball set on the tee. Yeah. For some reason, Jamie. Now he's got it. And here he goes in a hurry and kicks it. It's taken at about the 32 or three yard line. Oh, 
That was number 14, Merle. Uh, I think it was 16, wasn't it? 16, okay. Isaac, Isaac Perkins with it. Yeah, Perkins ran it back there. So Hunnicker will have it there at the 41-yard uh, line, their own 41, first and 10. First drive didn't go very far for them. No, they didn't have much luck. See what happens here. They look a lot bigger than Castlewood, Jamie. Uh, and the bad snap. The center and sprints out of there. He, he bobbled the snap and had to pick it up and try to run out of there and loses quite a bit of yardage there. Uh, yeah, that's going to go back uh, four or five yards there. Uh, Sean Gill, quarterback, trying to make something out of nothing, and it's going to be second at about 14. Sean Gill, only a freshman, Merle, starting at quarterback. Looked like uh, Nice got through there uh, to make first contact on Gill before he could go anywhere after he picked up that bobbled snap. Now Honecker spreads things out. Now out of the shotgun. Gill. And we've got a flag there. Flag stops things. Honecker opened it up that time. That's going to be delay a game against Tonecker. Didn't didn't get it off in time. I didn't. I wasn't watching the play clock that close. Evidently, didn't get it off in time. Be second and about 19. Tonecker back in that shotgun again. Pass out in the flat. That's complete. That's completed to uh, Aiden Low. The receiver. Who was it? Aiden Lowe. Was that number 12? Yeah. I don't have a 12 on here. Well, I, I must have written it down wrong. Aiden Lowe is who that is. Aiden Lowe? Uh-huh. Didn't pick up much, old Merle. In fact, he ended up losing the yard. Well, they got penalized. Yeah, yeah they got penalized. Yeah, he picked up about three, three or four. So it looks like third. Third and 15, I believe. Third and about 15, that's yep. right. Honecker on their own 36 yard line. Once again, they spread three to the left, one to the right. Gill sprints out to the left, gonna throw it deep on the left side. He's got a man over there. Un under through that one. He wound up way short. Of course, he was getting hit as he threw it too, which makes a difference. Now Castlewood applying a little pressure. Honecker will have to punt again. That's two series, Honecker's not been able to Advance the ball at all. Looks like Taylor, Layton Taylor, the uh, Castlewood tailback is back deep to receive the punt. He's standing between the 35 and the 40. Oh, bad snap over his head. And he has to cover it. Way back inside the 10-yard line. Looked like about at the 8-yard line. Castle will have a, a good shot at scoring again here, Jamie. Yeah, it'll be first and goal uh, for Castlewood. Balls, I think, on about the 9-yard line. Maybe the it's a little bit inside the 10. Just inside the 10. Near so as I can see. So it'll be first and goal. You're right. I think it's I think it's pretty close. The back edge of the football is pretty close to the ten yard line. Castlewood in that same same formation. Uh, direct step this time to uh, Jeremiah Allen off of the left side. He gets about three or four. It'll be second down and goal from about the seven, I guess. Got about three yards. Second and seven, looks like. Jeremiah Allen back there is that fullback. He's a 6'2 and about 220, and he's got he gets the ball the this time. And he squirts towards the 
goal line, but trip, tripped up, gets close, but he didn't get in. Jeremiah, typical single wing fullback, Merle. He's big, big, good size, runs hard. In That's what you got to have. That's key and part, and really. That, that tailback, Taylor, is it late, late in Taylor? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, he, he's pretty quick, too. He's shot through there on that touchdown run. Yeah, they've got him listed at 160 pounds. He's pretty quick. He goes out on the flank now. And, uh, that's number two back there. Taking a direct snap, Jamie. That's being a they snapped, they snapped it to Allen, and he pulls his way towards the goal line. Now they, now we get the signal. Touchdown, Castlewood. Jeremiah Allen again. Barely made it in there, but he got across. Castlewood will try the kick again. Thought they might go for two. Where was that Since ball was, when he started? I there. think it was about the seven. About the seven. How long was that TD run? No, that was my question. The one yard. Yeah, it was. It was short. Gibson set the kick again. The snap's better this time, but the kick is blocked. And point no good. Castlewood leads 12 nothing here with 3:52 left in the first. We'll be back in a moment. You're watching high school football on ARC TV. Can't keep up with who's who, Jim. These Castlewood people. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from Castlewood High School, White Stadium. Merle Allen and Jamie Farley with you uh, on ARC TV, and uh, Ernie Benko uh, operating the, the equipment. And it looks like uh, Castlewood will kick off, and uh, they've won the toss, deferred to the second half, and they'll be kicking to Hunaker. Looks like. Evan Justice, one of the deep men for Honecker, uh, kicking for Castle will be Adam Gibson. He's having a little trouble getting the ball set up, as you can see. Looks like it might. Well, I guess he's going to do a straight-on kickoff, or well, he'll do a sidewinder kickoff, soccer style, and it's like he's going to try to kick it deep. The sophomore Gibson kicks it, and it's a fairly short kick. Picked up at about the 31 or two yard line and run back to the, looks like he got it to the 40. So it'll be first and 10, Honecker from there. Isaac Perkins with the, uh, was Isaac Perkins with the run back. Hunter comes out there, be led by the quarterback Sean uh, Sean Gill. <coughs> and they'll run out of a I formation. Look like it's a little bit of an offset out of there, bro. Yeah, no, it wasn't either. Tailback. Skyler Miller with the carry for Honecker. He just gets a couple of yards. Looks like it'll be second and eight. Running off a left tackle. Player comes into the huddle with a call from the sideline for Honecker. Looks like he picked up about two, Merle. It'll be second down and eight. Right. Quarterback under center. Unbalanced line to the right. Hand off again to... Uh, Miller, Skyler Miller, he doesn't get a lot there. He Looks like he's lost, there. lost a yard or so. Looks like it'll be third and nine. So let's see if Honecker wants to throw it here. Ball is at the uh, 41, 41 yard line, maybe 42, about to 42 yard line, I guess. Third down and a long eight. 
and the pitch to the wide side, and Castle was ready for that. Nice storming for a loss over there. Miller again on the carry. I'm not going to have to punt. I can't see who's back deep for Castle. Really. I kind of think tell either. If you get a number, we can pick him up there. So far, he hasn't turned this way. Nick Goodman, the punter for Honecker. Bladen Taylor, I believe, is back deep. Goodman gets a pretty good kick off. It's going to come down and hit about the 35-yard line, and Honecker's going to down it there to 36, so there'll be no run back. This will be Castlewood's first possession. Early here, no score. We're glad you joined us here tonight on ARC TV. First football game of the season. But uh, football will probably be back in the fall, Murrow, so it won't be much of a break for us. Uh, it surely, surely won't. Uh, Castlewood's first possession. They hustle up to the line. Uh, they look like they're running out of sort of almost a single wing set, Jamie. And that's number 21. That's right, Taylor. Taylor with the carry. Off the right side, he got about eight. Yeah, I look like they're going to be running now with a shotgun there, Merle. We'll give whatever. it seven. It'll be third or second and, and three. Clock running and down the inside of ten minutes now in the quarter, early here in the first quarter. 21 Taylor is the uh, tailback in this setup for uh, Castlewood. They don't run with the quarterback under center, obviously. And they're set up well, heavy to the right, and Taylor takes the ball and goes off right tackle and gets pretty good blocking, squirts through there, has got a first down and more. Looks like it's single wing, Mo. Yeah, it is. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's maybe modified a little bit, but they get it down to the uh, home acre on the five-yard line. And third with a third down, Honecker trailing Abingdon, or trailing Castlewood, 12 to nothing. Got that full house backfield set up again there. Trying to, having, having trouble with the clock. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting here just to see. Got a new clock here, but it's sometimes these things are hard to work. Yeah, this time the clock won't say it. Okay, officials are going to try to keep it, the time on the field. I don't know how well that works. But. Well, it, it works. You just never know how much time's left. Hunter back to the line again now. Gill will go under center. The clock here is we're having clock, clock issues. But we'll be back in a minute. You're listening and watching ARC TV. First and 10 from their own 20 yard line. The missed field goal results in a touchback. Castlewood sends one wide out way wide to the right. Everybody else in tight. And out of that single wing formation, they fake, fake the pitch and give it to the other halfback. And there this time, that's Nice, I believe, of carrying there. He doesn't get much there. So it'll be second and ten, Castlewood. Second 
Same formation for Castlewood. Now they run out of that. It's like a good, good run again there by Layton Taylor. He had two blockers out in front of him, and uh, they cleaned them out. So pretty good game there. It's going to be third and two for Castlewood. Castle was the same formation. They got a wing back on the right. Snapped it to the short man there. Snapped it to Allen, and he went straight up the middle and gets enough for the first down. He gets across the the 30-yard line. It'll be first and 10, Castle. So first and 10 now for Castlewood. As they continue to move that ball on the ground, Merle. I believe it's Landon Taylor. We've been saying Layton. Uh, I believe it's Landon Taylor, Jamie. Well, my eyes are not whole lot better than yours. <laughs> Got to be a little better. Castlewood with the first and 10 now. From the 31, it looks like. And this is number one this time on a sweep around the left side. That's Carter. That's an end around. That was Carter. M.J. Carter, and he gets a good gain out of bounds on the far side. They're going to mark him at about the 46-yard line of Castlewood, so that'll be another first down for the Blue Devils. The Blue Devils haven't thrown the ball any, have they? No, I don't think they Did they throw one? No, they haven't. No, no they haven't thrown the pass yet. They've been moving to. it too well on the ground. Haven't had to. Coach Lark's doing a good job with this group. Now, goes under, snap back to the tailback and hands off to Allen. He busts through with the tackle off right side and all the way to, down to the uh, Honecker 30, Honecker 41 40, yard line. 41, so real good gain for Allen. He's a strong back, Jamie. Yeah, he's a big boy. They, they can I remember run, him from last year. They can run Landon Taylor some in there and, and uh, Carter running. I think Carter got that on the end around, didn't he? That, that uh, run he Probably, yeah, They may have him in there to wing back. He could have been. He yeah, he is out here on the end. Yeah, he's he's, but he's, wing, he's wing really. Back. That's a wing back. Set. Kind of a wing back there. This time Taylor's <laughs> going to run it himself. Tries to pull through. Gets through there with a couple of tackles. And then there's a late hit from Honecker. That's going to cost him. As yeah, he was tackled on, on about the 40-yard line. Obviously. That's going to cost uh, the Tigers 15 yards. That'll take the ball down to the 25-yard line. Yeah, they had him almost at the line of scrimmage there. The late hit nullified all that. Is the clock operating all right now? It should be closed. That'll take the ball down to the... Uh, 25, as Jamie said, where Castlewood will have it first and 10. Castlewood leads at 12 nothing. We're not quite halfway through the second period. Castlewood showing a really good ground game. They sure, so far. surely are. There's Taylor with Nice back there with him in the backfield. Snap to Taylor, he goes off right tackle, gets a big hole through there, squirts through, and he's down all the way inside the 10-yard line to about the seven, looks like. Thought they got him about the six or seven there. I'm not sure. I believe they're going to mark him at the seven, Merle. I believe you were right. So it'll be first and goal for Castlewood. Castlewood trying to stretch this lead. Been real impressive running it on the ground out of that single wing. Haven't seen that much in, for a good while since Giles Giles used to run it. I don't know if they still do or not. I know that team when uh, Heath Miller was the senior in that state championship game, they ran the single wing. You don't see it much, though. So, niece back there beside of uh, Taylor in the backfield. Now whistle stops things. The timeout Castlewood. We'll break with them. 
Castlewood leads at 12 0 here, 7.58 to go in the second period. You're listening and watching high school football on ARC TV. We should have sent him up to Lebanon. <laughs> All right, we're going back in action. Castlewood with uh, Taylor back there, tailback, along with Allen. This time he follows Allen off right tackle, and Hunaker stopped him pretty cold there. Yeah, well, not much. It wasn't too much there. He picked up a yard or two, but not much. Yeah, they're going to. I think a yard might cover it. That's about right. it. Maybe, maybe a half a yard. Well. He I don't looks, believe he gained anything. Not much. He's too. still right at the seven. May have got a few a foot or so. So it's second and goal from the seven. Nick the board into the game with the play for Castlewood. He goes out wide to the left. Allen and and Nice back there both in the backfield behind Taylor. Taylor lets the snap go through his hands and they get back after it. Looks like. I'm not sure who got it. Uh, still, 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 still scrambling, scrambling for it. there. Honecker got it. Honecker's got it. Thought Honecker had a good chance to get it, and then it squirted out of there again. Yeah, got a bad snap there, and Honecker recovers there at the 20-yard uh, line. Looks I'm like not sure who recovered it. I couldn't pick up the number. Tell either. Look like. Uh, Look like. Uh, the ball wasn't too high, really. It was up about his face, but just let it go right through his hands. It was they, a little, he, little higher than usual. He was sitting in there pretty tight to that center, too. Yeah, he's right. not back there very far like normally you see in a single wing. And the snap was maybe just a little bit high. Honecker's got it now, first and 10 from the 20. And they're going to throw it, throw it out in the flat. It's complete. I believe it's a tight end. And it's a... Uh, Jason Mullins, the tight end, he takes it all the way to the Honecker 35-yard line. Actually, you're on a market about to 36, so yeah. he picks up about 16 on that pass. So that's the best offensive play we've seen out of Honecker, Merle. Yeah, besides that kick return, the kick return was pretty good there after one of the Castlewood scores. Still 12-0. Castlewood a little late getting set up. Hand off to the tailback. He kicks outside, gets a little bit of running room, stumbles across one tackler. That's and Miller. Scott or Miller. He gets it to about the uh, 41. Picks up about five yards on that carry, though. So it'll be second and five for the Tigers. Good hard running. and One of the Castlewood players got him, just tripped him up a little bit. He had some open field. We're about halfway through the second quarter. Castlewood leading 12 to nothing. And we get a flag from the linesman here. I don't know what that was all about. Maybe a substitution thing of some kind, Jamie. I don't know either. Let's see what he says. Sideline warning against oh, okay. Castlewood. This referee over here, linesman over here on this side of the field, near side of the field. Well, they need that was being pushed around a little bit there. For the they, they need line. to leave him room to move. Yeah, uh, they, he's probably cautioned them once or twice. Of course, there's not much room between the fence and the sideline. Second and five now for Honecker. Uh, he wants to pass, throws it again out there in the flat to the tight end again. Hey, Jason Mullins. He picks he's got up a first, first about, down. Picks up about 10 on the play, maybe a little more. Ball's yeah. at the Castlewood 48-yard line now, so good gain and another first down for the Tigers. 5.45 and the clock running here in the first half. And uh, Coach out there giving directions to Castlewood defense, yelling out instructions. Now here's a handoff to the tailback. And this is not going to go anywhere. It's back to the line of scrimmage to Skyler Miller. Taylor chased him down there, Merle. Or Carter, I mean MJ yeah. Carter. Yeah, MJ Carter. I wouldn't call him Taylor all last year. I don't know why. 
but he made a really good defensive play. Castlewood don't have big numbers at all, but they're sure that unit that's out there is playing both ways, I think. They're playing really well. I'm not sure if the tailback, uh, Taylor, if he's uh, yeah, there's a flag on the play. This is probably against Honecker, I would think. Yep. It had a false start, so that'll cost Honecker five. And that'll make it second down and about 15. Let's try and see if Landon Miller's out there on defense. I believe he is, Jamie. I don't see him on the sideline. Where he is, he's probably one of those corners. He's, he's on the far, far side, side there. on the corner, yeah. Honecker's got one wide out over there. He goes out to cover him. Honecker with tight formation again with three backs in the backfield, but official stops play. Looks like it's going to be second and 15 after the penalty. Some question about whether they moved the ball right on that penalty, but I guess they did. They're ready to go now. Under center, Gill, and he hands it off the first man through. Got a big hole, kicks it out the left side, and rumbles all the way down to the 45-yard line of Castlewood. That was uh, Blake Casey. The run for Honecker. I think that's the first time he carried it, wasn't it, yeah. He picked up about 10 on the play, Merle, maybe nine. It's going to be third and about six, looks like. Ball resting uh, at the Castlewood 44-yard line. Sends one wide out to the left. Gill goes under center. Power eye backfield behind him. Hands to the fullback in a little misdirection play, but Castlewood stacks him up for a short game. <coughs> Yeah, he picked up about a, maybe a yard, no more. Well, well, actually, he didn't gain much anything. It's going to be four. That's Blake five. Casey again carrying that one, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, a little misdirection, but uh, <coughs> Castlewood covered that. Castlewood looks like they're going to go for it, maybe. Probably going to call time out here, Jamie. Yeah, we're down close to the three-minute mark. Timeout called on the field. 12-0 Castlewood leads it. You're watching high school football on ARC TV. Whew. That's a pretty good crowd out. It's supposed to be 250 or less, isn't it? You're pretty close on your time, aren't you? Aren't you pretty close on your time? Did you get it going there? All right, crowd making a little noise here now. Big fourth down play here. Fourth and about four, haven't they? Looks like they're setting up for a punt. But here's movement in the line. A, a fake, I think I'm trying to fake a punt, but uh, flags fly. Not sure what we're, we're getting a ruling. Illegal motion once again by Honecker, so they probably will end up punting here, Merle. I would think so. I don't think you want to give it to Castlewood here with over three minutes left the way they've been running the ball. Takes the ball back to the uh, Castlewood 44-yard line. Well, that's right, it is the 48. So it's fourth down and 10, and Honecker in punt formation. Is that Gibson kicking? No, it's uh, 
Goodman going to punt. They snapped the ball, but I don't think it had been put in play. The official hadn't put the ball in play yet. <laughs> that was a good snap. <laughs> Nick Goodman, the punter. Castlewood's got, uh, I'm not sure, to Taylor back maybe. The kick is a good kick. He's down on the sideline. Taylor gets it about the 10 yard line. He's going to be met right there and gets a couple of yards back on the run back, and that's it. Pretty good coverage that time on the punt by Honaker. That was a good punt. Yeah, it was. Really good punt. They marked the ball. Looked like on about the uh, 13, 12 or 13 yard line of uh, Castlewood. He has Nick Goodman on the punt. He did a good job with that one. So it'll be first and 10 for Castlewood from their own, I don't know, 12 or 13. We've got it on the 13. They'll probably try to run this clock out, but who knows? They may bust off a long one and try to get tricky. They send two wide outs out to the left here. Yeah, that's the first time they've split two men out. Landon Taylor in the Shotgun in that single wing set. He throws it out to the left, one of those wide outs. He's got a couple of blockers out there. He's going to get good yardage. All the way to midfield and finally run out of bounds over there at the cast at the Honaker 40 yard line or thereabouts. May have got it inside the 40. That was Hunter Hicks, I think, Merle. He did win after he caught that. Had three wide outs over there. He had two blockers in front of him. Yeah, he just he uh, followed you know, those blockers well. Faked to go and stopped back and uh, had a couple of blockers out there nearly broke the thing all the way. 2.52. Now with the clock stopped with him going out of bounds over there. The ball at the Honeaker 38-yard line. First and 10, Castlewood. That's the first time Castlewood thrown it. First pass they've thrown. It's easy to complete them when you don't throw very many like that. They're not looking for it. Yeah. Once again, two men split to the left. I think it's Hunter Hicks way out there. They hand it off to the right to Allen. He breaks a couple of tackles, drags people with him to the 35-yard line. He doesn't go down easily, I'll tell you that. No, he doesn't. He's a big boy, strong. Is that Tom Allen's boy? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't think it is. Say no. I think Tom's <coughs> boy coaches girls basketball. That's my first cousin. Huh? That's my first cousin, I think. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding about that. Yeah, I know that. Castlewood will have it second and about what seven? Second, seven or eight? Yeah, about eight, I think. Come up there again with Taylor. And they're, they've got timeout Castlewood. <laughs> we'll be their second timeout. We'll take a break. We're watching high school football on ARC TV. We're ready to go. Castlewood comes out of the timeout with a second and eight from the Honecker 35. Just one back back there in the field with Taylor. Hicks goes in motion, gets the hand off to the left, breaks a tackle out there on the end. And gets all the way to the sidelines before he's knocked out of bounds near first down yardage. That's MJ Carter there. Oh, was that Carter? Yeah. yeah. That's right, it was Carter instead of Hicks. Those two mix up. Hicks is nine, he Carter's gets, one. He gets very close to a first down over there. It's about a yard shy. Ball just inside the uh, Honaker 30 yard line. Nick DeBoer runs in there with the play, and he'll go out wide to the left, I believe. Yes, he goes wide to the left, and Taylor has Allen and Nice behind him in the backfield. Both of them big, strong runners. Third and short, and he spins out of there and fakes it, gives it to the tailback going all the way down the sideline. That fooled everybody, Jamie. MJ Carter. Fool me too. Little wing back reverse there, yeah. one of the staples. They did a good job handling the ball in the backfield that time. I thought Allen had the ball. 18 nothing, Castlewood. 
See if they can convert on an extra point here this time, Jamie. Maybe we, can, maybe we can tell who's... I think Landon Taylor does the kicking. I wouldn't be surprised if Castlewood goes for two this time. Looks like he may do it. I believe they're going to. Having missed uh, a couple of extra points, I think I'd try to forget about kicking them here now. Jacob Allen's another big boy in that line. Comes in there in the line. They snap it directly to Allen. He has to pick it up off of the ground, and he's snowed under their bad snap, trying, trying to snap it directly to to uh, Jeremiah Allen, and uh, it's a bad snap down low, and he just had to cover it. So with a minute 47 remaining here in the second period, it's 18 nothing Castlewood. We'll be back. You're listening and watching high school football on ARC TV. Go Castlewood will kick off after the score with a minute 47 to go here in the first half. Can you tell who's deep for Honecker, Jamie? Well, I can't see their number. It's number 12, Merle. Don't have a 12. You should. I think it's 16. Low. Is it low? Ball squibbed down on, on a short kick, and Honecker covers it about the 38, 36-yard line, I guess, or 37 maybe. Let's see where they spot it. I think it's Perkins back deep, wasn't it? Or low, might have been low. Aiden Low was deep. There. Okay. Honecker with it, 18 uh, nothing behind Castlewood, trailing Castlewood 18 nothing. They've got the ball with a minute 41 to go. See if they come out throwing. A little confusion in the huddle there, and. Uh, Dylan Barrett comes back to the tailback there to Gill and asks what's going on. Gill takes the snap, hands off. Going to the left is uh, Skylar Miller. Miller, I mean. Skylar Miller with the run. It's a good gain. Picks up uh, about five on that carry. It'd be second and five. <clears throat> you know, when they squirt through there out of that single wing, Castlewood squirts through there off tackle. They're going straight up field most of the time yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. Honecker's running a lot of stuff wide where they, they don't get as much yardage. You know, I was second and about five, and uh, Gill wants to throw it, dodges people in the backfield. Now he's chased down back there for a loss. Finally sacked him at about the uh, 40. Good open field tackle out there that time. He dodged a couple of defenders who were putting pressure on him, and it looks like Castle or Honecker wants timeout. That was Ben Neese on that tackle. We'll take a timeout with him. We'll be back in a moment. You're listening and watching high school football on ARC TV. Honecker with a third and five from their own 42-yard line. Snap back to Gill. He throws it out to the right, complete, but a hit immediately out there by, Jer by Jeremiah Allen knocking down the receiver. I think that was – I'm not sure who that was received that one. He didn't get a very good spot over there either. He was he was knocked backwards, but he's anyway it's fourth and one for the Tigers. And there's a mix up in the backfield. Uh, and they're gonna be thrown for a loss and Castlewood will take over here with twenty one seconds to go in the first half. But uh, looked like uh, Gill turned one way and the back went the other way, Jay. Well, I, I don't know what happened there. I, they didn't look like they were quite ready to run the play. Gill, Gill turned to, over in our direction and the back went over the other way. And went anybody there and he had to try to run with it. It was too late then. Castlewood converged on him. So it'll be first and ten for Castlewood. Not much time on the clock, though. Castlewood comes to the line now. They're bunched up in there tight. It's like Meese and, uh, and Allen behind the quarterback. quarterback's under center Taylor. this time, Merle. And he just takes a knee and going to run the clock out. That's going to do it for the first half. Castlewood leads at halftime over Honecker, 18 nothing. We'll be back. Do we do halftime comments, Jamie, here? 
We'll, we'll be back with some halftime comments in a moment. You're listening and watching high school football on ARC TV. All right, we're back here at Castlewood. Uh, Jamie Farley, Merle Allen with you, and we're at the half here at Castlewood. The Blue Devils leading Honecker 18 to nothing. Uh, Castlewood scored uh, quickly on their first possession. The tailback Landon Taylor took that ball in from 35, 39 yards out. Uh, the extra point, uh, they messed it up and didn't make it. And at that point, after a 64-yard drive, Castlewood led six to nothing. On the next possession, uh, Honecker trying to punt, and the ball uh, went over the kicker's head and flew way down inside the 10-yard line. Uh, Castlewood <coughs> took over from the uh, Honecker nine, and uh, Allen scored on a one-yard TD run with 3.52 to go in the first quarter. Then very late here in the first half, uh, Castlewood completed a long pass. They got the ball inside their 10-yard line, completed a long pass out toward midfield. And anyway, Carter went in from 24 yards out. They tried for two, but botched that play up too. So that left the score 18 to nothing, which is where we are right now. Both teams are back on the field. We're just about ready for third point, uh, I mean for third quarter action. And the Castlewood Brew Devils will receive the opening kickoff here in the second half. Now, Tammy Castlewood uh, won the toss at the beginning of the game and deferred, so they'll get the ball here <coughs> with an 18 0 lead. Yeah, it's Honecker badly needs to stop this drive or this game can get easily out of hand, Merle. Castlewood's showing a lot of quickness and. Uh, they, they're showing a lot of deception also out of that single wing. They've had two or three pretty big plays, and uh, uh, we're just about ready to go here. Nick Goodman will uh, kick off for Honecker back deep for Castlewood is uh, Hunter Hicks. and uh, No, not Hunter Hicks. That's Carter, M.J. Carter. And uh, the uh, Boy, that's quarterback, a Landon kick. Taylor, yeah, a really good kick. That went all the way into the end zone. That's a touchback. So Castlewood will get it on the 20, and it'll be first and 10. His other two kicks, uh, you know, were short. Yeah, he kicked one good punt. I think that was him that hit that yeah. punt, was it? And then his first, his first kick, that's the only time he's kicked off, really. But he kicked that one over the players' heads, and it rolled into the end zone. So Castlewood will take over first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. That's right. That's the first kickoff he'd done. He, I well, guess no, he, he, did, he did want to open the game. No, Castlewood. No, that's right. Uh, Castlewood deferred. And they, that's right. That's yeah. the first time he's kicked off. Castlewood with the ball now. Quarterback Taylor back there in that single wing. Keeps it and runs to the right. Gets a hole. Good block. The flag flies. He gets all the way out to the... 35-yard line, but I'd say there's an illegal black block on that play. So he might get a little holding on that one. Actually, two flags down there. And we've got a hold on Castlewood. It's going to put them back 10 yards. So that'll make it first and 20 from the 10-yard line. Oh, that's right. Did they penalize them from the spot? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they penalized them from the spot of the foul. That was takes it back to the 20 once again, where it'll be first and 10 for the Blue Devils. Still in that single wing set. Taylor starts the right hands off to the left to Hunter Hicks going left. And is that Carter or Hicks? Can tell if it's Carter or Hicks. One of them is 11, one of them is one. Picked up a gain of one yard, so it's going to be second and nine for the Devils. That was Carter, I believe, with that I run. believe it was Carter, yeah, too. Hicks, Hicks just now went into the game. He's not 11. Hicks is number nine. 
I thought that was number 11, but it was number one. It was Carter with the run. He didn't get much out of that one. We had a little wing back reverse again. Se second and about nine. Now and we got a bad fumble there. I don't think it was a bad snap. I think he just didn't catch it. And Taylor fell on it, so that'll be third and long for Castlewood. You so think I'll throw it? Lost a five on that one. You think I'll throw it? I don't know. I don't think I would. See what they run. Hunter Hicks going in there with the play. They're going to stay tight. Hunter Hicks is going to go out wide to the left. Everybody else in tight. That's uh, Taylor with the run. Faked the, faked the handoff back there and took it to the left, got it out to the 25-yard uh, line. Yeah, picked up 10 on the play, but that's still going to leave him five yards short. <coughs> Taylor, a good runner there, Murrow. Once he yes, gets he outside, the, he's pretty shifty, isn't he? Once he gets outside there, he's pretty good. It's Dal Dalton Fields is going to do the punting for Castlewood. This, is this their first punt? Yeah. Don't think they punted before. Evidently, they're a player short out there. And there goes the player in now. Castlewood going to have to take a timeout, though. The John, John Minton. Oh, they tried to kick it while the player was coming on the field. He's <laughs> trying to get the kickoff before the clock run out, I guess. Yeah, the sub was coming on, and uh, they snapped it and kicked it. So that's a false start. It'll be a five-yard penalty, and they'll have to do it all over again. <clears throat> I think a timeout would have been well served on that one, Merle. It would have. They moved the ball back to about the 15 or 16-yard line. Now, now they're moving it back up to the 20. Put it on the 20. That's where it should have been. Yeah, that's right. Dalton Fields back there to punt again. Good snap this time. Gets the kick off. It's a line drive kick. It's taken by Casey. Fakes one way and then takes it up the middle. He, he caught that one about the 44-yard line of Castlewood, so Honecker already in Castlewood territory after the punt. Yeah, they marked it down at the 31-yard line of Castlewood, so another good field position spot for the Tigers. They had it down close one other time and missed a field goal, but real good uh, field position for Honecker. Gill in the shotgun, hands it to Casey, Casey trying to go to the right. Doesn't get much over there. I don't know whether he went out of bounds or not. No. I don't think he did. They marked the ball right on the 30-yard line, so he'll gain the yard. It'll be second down and nine for the Tigers. Honecker desperately needs something out of this series, Jamie. They really do, yeah. Can't squander that good field position, Merle. Gill with the three backs back there with him in the backfield. And this time to Casey again. Big, pretty good yardage that time. He got it inside the 25-yard line. I think it was Casey, wasn't it? So there, he's about a yard, yard and a half, maybe two yards short, short down here. Same formation for Honeaker, one wide out to the left. This time they give it to I think Casey again. Not sure he didn't fumble. It looked like Castlewood saying he fumbled, but there you anyway, he lost the yardage there. It'll be fourth down. Uh, officials are conferring. I'm not sure what. Castlewood saying they got the ball. Yeah, they finally stopped the clock. I'm not sure. It is Castlewood. Yeah, I thought he fumbled. Castlewood recovered the fumble. I don't know who got it. But well, I, I thought Castlewood had it there. I didn't see him fumble it. I, 
Yeah, the other ball, the ball got loose. I saw that ball. Anyway, Castlewood got on it, so big turnover by the Tigers. And that leaves Castlewood with a first and 10 from their own 24-yard uh, line. We've got 7.50 left here in the third quarter. This running game makes the game go faster, doesn't it? 18-0, Castlewood leads it. Castlewood out that single wing. Here comes Taylor. Now he breaks clear. And going to catch him as he gets into Highacre territory. Ball, ball came loose. But I, I think uh, Allen got on it. I think he's probably down. I think when he the ball was came out. Probably down anyway. Landon Taylor. Aiden Lowe Low ran him down. You know, there's just one man to beat Lowe. If, if he, he caught him pretty quick. Low. Yeah, he caught him quick. But uh, Lowe pretty fast. I'll tell you what, uh, Castlewood's cleaning out that Honeacre defensive front, Merle. They surely are. And Honecker's defensive front's pretty big, Jamie. Yeah, they're pretty good size, but Castlewood's run, run pretty well. J.C. Horn, one of the big ones in there in the middle. Dakota Hall's linebacker. Castlewood comes up there again in that single wing, and a flag flies before the play. It's probably going to be a... I think too much time is what happened, I think. And you're right. Delay a game. That'll make it first and 15 from the Honecker 46-yard line. They got a wide out over to the left. I think that's the board. Flag on play again. That play didn't work at all. They messed that up. Probably a uh, illegal motion or yeah. some sort. I think the uh, I think the back back there with beside of uh, the uh, quarterback, the back back up beside of Taylor. I, I assume it probably was Allen. Looked like he moved too quickly. Well, anyway, two straight five-yard penalties, and that takes the ball back. On the Castlewood side of the field at their own 49, they've got it first and 20. Watch out for MJ Carter here, Jamie. Yeah, he's, he's on the right wing. Right wing back there. He gets it on the reverse, and he's got a lot of room. Breaks free, and I'm not sure if they can catch him. Touchdown. 51 yards, MJ Carter. That's a good, good uh, play. They got a good block on the corner there, and just he went around the corner. He was free. Nobody there. Hunter defense trying to cheat over to stop Taylor from running off tackle, or maybe Allen. Castlewood scores again. It's 24 nothing. Castlewood. Looks like Hunter Castlewood's going to try to kick this extra point, Murr. Guess what kicker's Taylor in it. Landon, no, it's number three. This one is good, Jamie. Adam Gibson with the kick. Castlewood leads Honecker 25-0 with 6.34 to go in the third. You're watching high school football action in February on ARC TV. Okay, Castlewood about ready to kick off. Glad you joined us here on ARC. I'm Jamie Farty, Merle Allen doing the play-by-play, -play, and we've got Ernie Binko on the video. Dalton Fields will kick it. It's a low kick, a pretty good kick for a low kick. Caught back there on the right side, taking it up the sideline is J Jaden Palmer, I believe. Kind of hard, I believe it's number 12 is what it looks like. That was Aiden Lowe, that's who it was. They've got another number or another number 12 on the roster here. I believe that was a Aiden Lowe. Anyway, pretty good run back. 
They spot the ball at the 30-yard line. Kind of injury, injury on the far side over there, Jamie. They're going to have the ball where at the uh, Tigers. Right on the 30-yard line. 30-yard line. And the Tiger player gets up and walks off, but he goes over there and says, Sam, maybe cramp, and looks like you're going to stretch him out some. Looks like cramps, Jamie. Probably so. Six. Oh, how cold it's gotten. We're thankful for this warm press box yeah. here at Castlewood, though. For sure. All right, here we go. Honecker with Gill under center, motion from the end. They pitch it back to the halfback, and he doesn't get much there. I believe that was Casey. That was Miller, I thought. Was it Miller? I believe 26. Yeah, it was Miller. It's hard to see those numbers. Picked about, lost about a yard on the play. So they put that end on the far side in motion around like they were going to do a reverse, and then they pitched it, but they didn't pitch it to him. They just pitched it to the back there close to him. Pitched the short man. I don't, you don't usually see that play. No, it's unusual. That kind of pulls the defense the way the play's going. Castlewood doing a lot of moving around on defense now. Gill throws it out in the flat, almost intercepted. That was Castle, I think. At, uh, that was uh, Landon Taylor. That was Taylor, the tailback there. He just about intercepted that, and he saw that one coming and stepped yeah, right in front of the he, receiver. The ball hit him right in the hand, but he didn't catch it. Not sure who the receiver was intended for there. Castlewood, or Honecker had two receivers out in that area. He's a little late on the throw. We're lucky it didn't get intercepted. We've got uh, two wide receivers on either side of the field this time. Gill just straight back to throw, throws it out in the flat to low. That ball's come loose and was fumbled on the ground. I think Honecker got on it. That pass was very short, though. He thrown right almost on the line of scrimmage. It was Aiden Lowe with the reception, and then he coughed it up, but Dylan Barrett fell on it for So it's going to be fourth down and 10 for the Tigers. They'll have to punt it. And is that... I can't remember who punts for them. I believe it's Nick Goodman, the kicker. Goodman will punt. Now here's movement in the line. I'm not sure who moves first. Maybe it's, maybe time ran out on them. Was this yep. official, official back here called it? No way game. Five, cost them five back to the 25. So it'll be fourth and 15. So Nick Goodman, the kicker, back deep for Castlewood. He's he really boomed one the last time. I think that's uh, Landon Taylor back to receive. I think Castlewood jumped off sides that time. Give the five yards right back to them. I kind of think. No, Honecker evidently moved, so they're going to cost him five more back to the 20. Honecker really having trouble executing tonight. Unusual for a Honecker team. Now it's fourth and 20. Taylor back. Uh, Deep for Castlewood. Oh, that kick was it blocked. Picked it. That's Jeremiah Allen. Blocked it and picked it up and took it into the end zone. Jeremiah Allen with the touchdown. So Castlewood's all over Honecker here, 31 to nothing with 4.33 remaining in the third. And extra point to come. Looks like... Uh, Slade Castle will hold for uh, Adam Gibson. Can't tell who the snapper is. 52. This is Peyton Couch snap, snapping the long snapper. Gets it back here. Castle scoops it off the ground. The kick by Gibson is up and it's good. And it's Castlewood 32. Honecker nothing with 4.33 to go in the third. If you're watching high school football action on ARC TV. It was going to roll out of bounds, but uh, it was finally uh, picked up uh, by Isaac Perkins. Perkins. 
That was Perkins back there who picked the, came up and picked it up. And he makes a pretty good run. He turned a bad situation into a good one. Because that ball was live. Yeah, he realized the ball was live. And I think the other player there didn't think so. Thought it was going out of bounds. Let it go. And Castle was getting down there close to pouncing on it. But Perkins with a good play. But anyway, pretty good field position for Honecker. They've got it on their own 38-yard line. Gill under center now with a fullback and tailback in eye formation. And he sprints out to pass and gets hit from behind. And lost. That's Jer Jeremiah Allen again, Jamie. He's, yeah, he put the heat on him. He's playing good football. Threw it for a big loss. Looked like about an eight or nine yard loss. He's one of the linebackers in there in Castlewood. And uh, he spread out there wide to the right a little bit. Maybe guessed right that he was going to pass. Call it a seven-yard loss. It'll be second down and 17 for the Tigers. Timeout, Honegger. We'll take the timeout with them. Uh, you're watching high school football on ARC TV. Honegger with the ball second and about to... 17, it looks like, after the sack and the timeout. Now, now they're set in the shotgun for Gill. He's straight back, wants to pass, looks out to the right. He throws it too far to the right. He had a man out there open, but missed him. Yeah, he would have to go out of bounds to catch it. So it'll be third in about uh, 17. Pass was intended for Blake Casey uh, by Gill, but he overthrew him and threw it out of bounds too far to the sideline. I'm always fascinated to watching on TV, watching college and pro, and watching them throw those back shoulder throws. It was really hard to defend. Gill back to pass again now. Pressured, throws it, he's got it complete. And I believe that's Aiden Lowe. He runs it out to the 45-yard line. Going to be a couple yards short of a first down. But a nice catch and a nice run, so it's going to be fourth and two for the Tigers. I'll say Coach Over to go for it. Yeah, he doesn't have much choice to now. Yeah, trailing this much, I'd go for it too. I don't know if he calls the plays or if he lets somebody else call the plays. I think he probably calls them. I'm not sure who uh, Chris Larks. Uh, I think Honaker's going to take a timeout. 30, 32 nothing. Castlewood leads at 2.56 to go here, third quarter. You're watching high school football on ARC TV. All right, here we go again. Honaker. With a fourth down, they hand it to Tabak. He busts through there. I believe that was Casey. And he's got enough for the first down. That was and Miller. They're, they're having a scuffle there, a little, uh, little scuffle between a couple of players. And I don't know who was guilty well, that. was Casey. I think it was Casey with the run. I don't know who it got up. If it was Casey that got made up. A, and made a really the, good run. And then they got to thrashing around on the ground. And Was uh, it Casey that got to flag thrown on him? I'm not sure who got it. The officials are conferring. Don't really know what happened. Looks like Casey was mad after somebody fell on him or whatever. But anyway, it's a dead ball foul, so that'll be okay. Call fouls, personal fouls on both of them. But anyway, that would have been a first down regardless because it was a dead ball foul. Yeah, it's first down, Hunnaker, from the uh, 49, from her own 49-yard line. That was a good run on fourth down, though. I do know that. I'm glad to see him penalize it that way because it's always, you know, it's always too involved in that stuff. Yeah. But I usually get the second one. You're correct. I think it's a good, good idea to do it the way they did it. Honecker with the first down now trying to get something on, on the board here. Officials 
having a little trouble getting together now. Now back and ready to go. Gill goes under center. That power eye backfield behind him. He hands it off to Casey again. Going to the right. He gets about three yards, looks like. Casey's been running pretty hard, Jamie. Yeah, picked up a couple on that play. It'll be second down and eight. The ball just over the midfield stripe. We've got 2.20 left here, third quarter. Castlewood with a big lead. It's yep. 32 to nothing. A tight formation again. Hand off again to, to Casey in the backfield. He rumbles his way, dragging tacklers to the, to the down to the 45-yard line of Castlewood. Hunnaker player lost a helmet there somewhere. Timeout Castlewood. They lead Hunnaker 32 nothing with a minute 58 to go in the third period. You're listening and watching high school football on ARC TV. Okay, back with the third down. Gill under center, hands it to Casey again. He gets near first down yardage. They're just lining up, playing smash mouth football now, Jamie. First down, they're marking the ball at the 40 yard line of Castlewood. So pretty good drive here this time by Hunter. They picked up a couple of first downs. They've gotten, look like they've gotten a little more aggressive up front. Gill's going to go under center again. Unbalanced line to the right. And this time he hands it to Casey again. Coming. So they were waiting on him that time. This direction, and they were ready for that. Casey lost a couple of yards, maybe three. It looks like about a three yard loss, so. It'll be second down and 13 for the Tigers. I believe it's even a four yard loss, looks to me like. Pretty close to it, yeah. Second and long for Honecker. I believe they'll throw it here now, Jamie. Of course, they've been running with Casey and doing a good job. Hand it to Casey again, right up the middle. And he gets tackled there back to the 40 yard line of Castlewood. Gets back to the original line of scrimmage. That'll make it third and 10. Casey's gotta be getting tired. Inside 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. This may be the last play of the third quarter. <clears throat> Castlewood leading at 32 nothing, Gill. Fakes the handoff and sprints out to his left. And he stumbled a little bit in the backfield and Castlewood finally caught up with him quickly. He had a lot of room to run there, James. He hadn't stumbled. Yeah, if he hadn't uh, gotten tripped up, he had fooled the Castlewood defense, period. But only picked up a couple of yards. It's gonna be fourth down and eight. And that is the end of the third quarter. Castlewood leads it 32 to nothing. You're watching high school football on ARC TV. All right, we're about set to go. Fourth and eight for the Tigers. Swap ends and Tigers in Castlewood territory from the shotgun. Gill hands it off to Casey, he bounces it outside, gets good yardage down the left side. We'll have enough for the first down over on the far side. And he goes down hard. That was Miller on there. Was Miller. Miller. It wasn't Casey, it was Miller. Yeah, and he's down on the far sideline there. He's not getting up very quickly. <clears throat> But it was a really nice run. He picked up uh, about 15, maybe 16 yards on that carry. 
Haven't marked the ball yet. It should be about the uh, 25, I think. He's up now. So it'll be first and 10. Honaker from the uh, Castle 25-yard line, I think. Maybe inside the 25 a little. They won't put yeah, the look, ball down. Look like they're going to mark it at the 24. Yeah, it is the 24. Honecker trying to get on the board here in the fourth quarter, early in the fourth. Castlewood leads at 32 nothing. Castlewood's thrown the ball once, haven't they? I think so, and very effectively, too. Yeah. They sure have run, run the ball well. Gill's going to take a timeout here. Clock running down. Be Honecker timeout will break away with them. You're listening to and watching. High school football on ARC TV. We're set to go again. Coming out of the timeout, Honecker with the ball on first down at the Castlewood 24-yard line. Two backs back there with the tailback. He hands it off to Lowe. Lowe running to the left. Tries to get up field. Not much there. Maybe got a couple of yards. I believe you're about right with a couple of yards, Merle. It'll be second down and eight. Looks like uh, Nick DeBoard over there on the tackle. As Lowe wasn't able to cut it upfield. Tigers again come up with a loaded backfield. Snap is to Gill. He fakes inside, pitches out to Casey took going to the right, and he smothered. Castlewood playing really good defense. Tried to run a little option that time, but took way too long. Casey's got to be tired as much as he's run the ball. Yeah, he lost about three yards on that one, Merle. I think it's third down and about 11. Haven't been using Skylar Miller to carry the ball much heavily in the second half. Well, he got hurt over yeah. there and meant to go. He's still over on the sideline, I guess. I think he was cramping. I believe he's back in there now. He may be. He'll drop back, wants to throw it now, and tries to flare it out to uh, Miller. Or is that Casey? That's Casey. It's Casey. Yeah, had, him, had him out there, too. Uh, I think he'd have picked up. Some good yardage had they uh, the pass been accurate, but he missed him. Had a little pressure on him. <clears throat> so it's fourth and eleven for the Tigers. Of course, they'll go for it down here this deep in Castlewood territory. There's no need to punt it. Gill's just got one back with him now. They got two wideouts on each side. Gill. It's going to pass, throwing it deep. Got a man open and just overthrew him. I believe that was Isaac Perkins, wasn't it? Had him wide open down there. He had plenty of room. But I believe that was Perkins. I believe it is Perkins, but just threw it too far. So. Castlewood takes over on downs. He threw that ball pretty well, just a little too far. So Castlewood will... Take over at their own 25-yard line. We've got 10 minutes and three seconds left on the clock. 20 or 32 to nothing. Castlewood leads it. Look, Hunter Hicks in there now. Castlewood takes time out as the play clock was about to run out. Now just breaking the huddle on the sideline. The coaches. <coughs> so Castle will have it first and ten from the uh, from their own twenty-five yard line. Got one wide out this time, Merle. 
Taylor in that single wing. Looked like a little motion, maybe no, no flag to pass out in the flat to Hunter Hicks. He breaks a tackle, gets down the sidelines, and finally caught and dropped at about the 35-yard line of Honecker. He's had several big plays, Jamie. About, uh, I don't know, Merle, 35 10, yards on 20. that play, I think. Got the ball inside the cap, inside the home acre, 40. 36 yards to be exact. Well, I was close. Yeah. Not much difference between 35 and 36. I think, it was, I think he started from the, <laughs> I think he started from the 25. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, big play once again, just a little hitch pass out here to the wide receiver and, uh, Taylor doing a good job in that single wing. This time he fakes it to Allen and hands it, hands it back to uh, uh, Carter. Carter and Carter gets good yards. He cuts back into the middle of the field. That's always that's a hard play to defend out of that single wing because it's uh, look like uh, Sean Gill in there on the tackle. The uh, Hunnaker quarterback. Picked up, look like about six on that play. It'll be second and four. Taylor sends a couple of wide outs to the left. One of them's Hunter Hicks and the other one is uh, Nick DeBoard. Taylor back to pass and he's gonna get sacked. He struggles and gets away and finally, finally dropped it about the uh, 38 yard line. They had a hard time getting him down. It's going to bring up third and about seven. Taylor kind of bobbled that snap there. Yeah, was he trying to pass or is he just trying to run out of there? I don't know. Couldn't tell if he's trying to pass or not. I think he was just trying to get out of trouble. Trying to get away from everybody. Third and eight. Two wide outs to the right this time. Taylor wants to pass. He's got time throws, but the pass, pass is tipped at the line. Not sure who got a... Somebody got a hand on it for sure. I think it was, I think it was Mullins, the big end over there. That'll bring up fourth and about seven. And Castlewood will go for it wide side of the field on the far side. Allen back there with uh, Taylor. Hicks out wide to the left. Hand off up the middle to Carter. Carter reverse to the wing back. But that one didn't fly that nope. time. They ran nope. it too many times. I think it was ready for that one. So Honecker will take over on downs. It'll be first and 10. We've got 8.15 left on the clock. Castlewood leads it 32 to nothing. Honecker's got left their own 40. They'd love to get something on the board, but it's getting kind of late here to catch up, isn't it? Yeah, they'd have to score an awful lot awful quickly. See if they come out throwing. And the tailback Gill pitches it back and looking to pass is low. Or, uh, no, it's, uh, I think he was intended to throw that one to the quarterback, but I don't think he could. Uh, I don't think he could get free of the Castlewood line. Who was that? Was that Miller? That was trying to throw it. No, it wasn't Miller. I'm not sure who it was. Could tell who it was. But he was trying to trying to hit Gill. He, Gil was the only receiver out, but it took him forever to get uh, free. Clock running with seven and a half minutes to go, and Honecker's got it at their own 
28 yard line now. And they're going to get called for delay a game again. So they'll move it back five more. Hunter didn't have a timeout to take. Back to the 27. So 23. Gosh, back, be 23. Down. back to the 23 yard Our line. Clock man, man's got it second and 27. I'll take his word for it. <laughs> I'm not sure I can count the yardage that high <laughs> this quickly. Second and a long ways to go, that's for sure. Under center now. Throws it out in the flat. And no, like a good catch. I think he made a good diving catch. He made a there. circus catch on that one. That's Dylan Barrett. Yeah, he stretched full out for the completion up to the 30-yard line. Didn't get it's a lot out of it. Third down and still a long way to go. Just picked up about seven yards there. Third and about 20, I think. Gill sprints out to his right this time. Got a man deep, and he lets it go. And they're going to have interference, it looks like. Yeah, they finally threw it. I didn't think they were going to. And didn't have an official very close to it, but... Uh, who was that? Was that? I can't tell who that was. It was no. I can't see his number there. I think it was Isaac Perkins, number sixteen. Yeah, it's you're Perkins. Right. He was open, but uh, the ball was kind of overthrown. But he might have still had a shot at it. I think it's Hunter Hicks that tackled him. Anyway, Murrow in high school, that's a 15-yard penalty. I'm not sure whether it's an automatic first down or not. So it'll be third down, and that'll make it about third and five. It's a shame you get a 15-yard penalty and don't get a first down. Well, there. I, th I think that ought to be an automatic first down. It is in college. It's should in be. the pros. I think it should be, too. I think you're right. <laughs> Gill brings him up with the power eye formation, hands his tailback straight ahead, nothing doing there. He stopped right at the little tempers flaring again. That was Miller, Skyler Miller running with it that time. Tempers flared a little bit there, but no flags. I don't know, he just made him right in the hole. I don't know who it was that tackled him, do you? Yeah, I think so. I think it was uh, Ben Neese. Neese who got him. Neese is playing in there in the line. But he, that, he that sure, front, I don't know if he's the lineman or He sure line. stopped him in his tracks. So. He's, he's a linebacker, I think. Now, Gill sprints out to the left, throws it out there incomplete under, under pressure. Jacob Allen applying the pressure that time on Gill. He's a big boy too, Merle. Yes, he is. 230 pounds. He put him over too. He yeah, didn't he, give him much time. No, he didn't. He got back there in a hurry. So it'll be Castlewood's football first and 10 from their own 45, or from the Honeaker 45 yard line. Landon Taylor back in there. In running that single wing offense. He's got, uh, I believe it's Jeremiah Allen back there in the backfield with him. Formation is tight formation, or uh, unbalanced formation to the right. And Taylor's just going to run it himself. Right ahead, he busts through, and he's still going, and finally down. He's very near the goal line, I think, Jamie. Yeah, I think he's down around the five-yard line more, the best yeah. I can tell. That's a really good run. Yeah, he's a good runner. He, yes, he is. He's not that big, but he doesn't go down easily. And uh, yeah, It's a five or six. It's hard to tell. It's close to five, I think. I believe it's a ten-yard line looking at No, it's about the six. Yeah, it's, it's inside the ten. It's down there. Looks like about, I think you're right, it's about the six yard line. See who gets it this time, probably Allen. They snap it directly to Allen, he goes straight ahead. 
Bulls his way carrying tacklers inside the five. And he's down, looked like down about to two or three. Yeah, I believe Jordan. it's probably on the two. I believe I'd give it to him a couple more times. Straight ahead. Second and goal from the two. Yeah, they've executed that single wing pretty well, Jamie. Yeah, they block it well. Handle the ball good in the backfield. Yeah, he's got enough wrinkles in there that uh, you got to play it pretty honest. But anyway, that single wing's hard to block or hard to defend. Allen straight ahead again. He gets in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Jeremiah Allen. You know, we were talking about that single wing, Jamie. That uh, center that snaps that ball has got to be uh, good. You know, he can't miss fire on Especially that. when he moves that tail back up about two yards off. Yeah. You know, you got to be soft with that. Yep. I yeah. think it's uh, maybe Dalton Fields, the center. I, can't. I think Dalton is the center. But he's doing a good job. Adam Gibson will uh, attempt the extra point. Castlewood having to get an extra man in there. Now they got him. Kick is up and the kick is no good. Wide left. I thought he was kicking straight on, but he kicked that one side. Yeah, side. he was sidewinder that one, yeah. but I thought he'd been kicking straight on too. But anyway, that's no good, but that makes it 38 to nothing. Big surprise to me, Merle. I thought this probably be a pretty good game. I did, too. I expect it to be more competitive than this. He's not a very big boy, is he? He's not very big, is he? Oh, is it? All right, Castlewood will kick off to Homemaker following the touchdown. We're taking a little extra time getting out there on the field. Dalton Fields is going to be the kicker. Coach is trying to get organized to get a kicking team out there. Now they've got all 11 of them out there. Nick, Nick DeBoer on the end over here next to us, and on the far end is Hunter Hicks. They'll be firing down. Trying to get down there in a hurry. Not sure what the holdup is here. Referee finally gives the ball to Dalton. And he sets it on the tee. Hadn't kicked off much, or Hunacre's one hadn't kicked off much, have he? Dalton's got a good workout tonight. Dalton puts a toe to it along the ground. It's scooped up at about the 26-yard line. Coming to the right and breaking clear is Casey, I believe. And he goes out of bounds near midfield. That was Miller. Skyler Miller with the carry. Good run back. They're going to mark him on about the 49-yard uh, line off Castlewood. Boy, it'll be first and 10. 4.08 left on the clock. Castle trying to shut Honecker out here. They got four minutes left. Be inside of four minutes when Honecker snaps this one. Gill with a power eye formation behind him hands it to the tailback straight ahead. I believe that was Skyler Miller. Skyler Miller with that carry. Right. Picks up a couple. It'll be second down and eight. Like Jacob Maxfield was one of the first ones to get in on the tackle. Only a little confusion now. And finally, uh, wide out goes to the left. Now here's a handoff to Miller again going to the left. 
dodges one tackler, gets inside to 45, and finally wrestled down over on the far side. I think Carter in, the, in on the tackle over there. Pretty good game. It's going to be third and about, uh, look like about four. I don't know if that's Carter on the tackle or it may have been. I believe it was Carter. Yeah, I think he's playing safety back there. Yeah. I think he made the tackle. He had a little help or somebody else was in on that Hicks one. Hicks is over on that side too on the corner. He may have been in on it. I couldn't tell. I think Carter was the first one there. Now just two backs behind Gill in the back side. Tight end comes in motion to the right. Hand off straight up the middle to the fullback. And that is... Uh, Gets it over the 40, though. That'll be a first down, Merle. That that was Dakota Hall carrying the ball, Jimmy. Isn't Dakota Hall, was, wasn't he at Lebanon last year? I don't know. Don't remember. I think so. On the basketball team. He gets a first down on it, and two minutes to go in the ball game from the 44 or 39 yard line of of Castlewood. Tight end goes in motion again. They fake a the hand off that way. Gill wants to pass it. Got a player deep out there, wide open, and he underthrew him. Couldn't get it to him. He had to wait on it and then try to come back to it. It's a long ways to throw it, throwing it all the way across that sideline. Clock running continuously now, Merle. Yeah. We're down to a minute 25. We've probably got about three plays left. Maybe four. Second and 10. Second and 10 from the 39 of Castlewood. I've been impressed with the Castlewood defense. Gill back to pass again, looks out to the right. Now he tucks it and going to run. Everybody covered out there, and he runs down to about the 35 or 34. Jeremiah Allen over there to make the hit. Allen gets in on a lot of action there, Merle. <laughs> He's done a lot of hitting tonight. He's a good football player. They got, they got several really good football players on that team. They do. Just 25 seconds left, and Homemaker's not in any hurry now. Yeah, they'll probably want to run one more play. Clock down to 15 seconds now. Gill goes under center with the power eye backfield, and he sprints back to the left, throws it out in the flats complete out there to... That one Gill, though... No, that was Isaac Perkins. Perkins, Perkins with the reception. He completed the pass, but uh, that is the end of the game. Surprising, 38 to nothing victory by Castlewood. So they've served notice here on the uh, Cumberland District. <laughs> Everybody on their schedule that they're to be dealt with. Yeah, Seriously. They're, they're going to be serious contenders for the title in the Cumberland. I don't know who else has got a very good club, but I can't imagine anybody's much better than they played tonight. Well, Norton should have pretty good. J.I. Burton should have a pretty good football team over there. They usually do. They got beat yesterday, didn't they? But they did. They so, lost their own still high, game. Didn't. But anyway, uh, big noise out of Castlewood. Our final score was Castlewood 38, Hunter nothing for Merle Allen, Ernie Biko. I'm Jamie Farley. Hope you enjoyed our telecast, and we'll see you next time. This has been a sports presentation of ARC TV.